have been swimming in the sea. It's a glorious sunny day today. We went yesterday as well and it was freezing and grey and horrible. Um, but it's lovely because I'm going with some women from the island and we're going as a group, which I've not done before. And it's really good because it's giving me a proper kick up the backside and making me do it um, <coughs> more often than I was. And, uh, and it's also really lovely to get to know other people, you know, because they're are a mix of women who don't necessarily go to the pub that much um, so I don't get to see them and so our paths haven't crossed that often so it's nice to get to know different people and be involved the thing I love about living here is the mix of community and it's interesting actually this has been a interesting week because I'm obviously in a different position now as a um, concierge uh, in the government <laughs> oh. um, which is so crazy uh, got my first meeting on Tuesday about that and I have um, so me and Diz Diz got me for Christmas a jumper Christmas jumper and it's a really good Christmas jumper like it's really good quality and it's really pretty but what it says on it, and his is matching, is it says, uh, deck the halls with, uh, fuck the Tories. Fa la 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 la. Now, I fully agree with the sentiment, and in Brighton, would wear it with pride, and it would be a funny thing, you know, and everyone would be, yeah, right on. But we're here, and, you know, there are, the thing that I love about being here is, we are between a mix of all the different political parties um, and we're not just in an echo chamber. And yeah, it's just a bit of a realisation. Um, we got the jumpers, we wore them for one night. It was a quiet night, Monday night at the pub or Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday. And not many people saw us or saw it. But I just didn't feel comfortable in it. Didn't feel right. And it's not because I didn't want to express my view although you know doing politics now so possibly better to not do that although yeah I don't want to be a shit you know I don't want to be one of them politicians that's like never saying anything just to always get elected I don't need to worry about that it's better that I'm you know clear and honest about who I am and what I'm offering you know because all I'm doing is bringing that to the party I'm not I'm here to trample down others I'm just here to be that aspect. <coughs> um, so I'm not anti-people being opposite to me. Because uh, the world would be a boring place if we all agreed. Um, we need conflict for things to happen. So I'm here to bring my side of the conflict. They're to bring their side of the conflict. But to not see the conflict as being a bad thing. Like, conflict is frisson. It's, you know, it's... Uh, it's drama. Like, when we're doing fooling, um, we do several stages to set up an improvisation. So you'll do commentary, which is what I'm doing now, chatting with you, which uh, expresses that you're a normal person. And it means the audience trusts you and is willing to go with you into the imaginative world. Then there's demonstration and Demonstration is when you place yourself in the imaginary world. So here I am uh, in Decart Wood. <laughs> I mean, I literally am in Decart Wood. Okay, no, so in an imaginary world. Here I am at football stadium in Qatar. And all up that bank, there's hundreds of people sat uh, in front of me. Behind you is the pitch. And I can see all the footballers coming in. Uh, and then you need to add the conflict. So the conflict's the drama. And that is a speculation. So and I wonder if anyone's going to kick off about the human rights issue here. And then you give it an emotion. And that's a judgment. And the thing that's magic about um, speculations and judgments is you can put any speculation with any judgment and they'll work. So I can be like, I wonder if anyone's going to kick off about the human rights issues here I'm furious 
or I'm scared or I'm indignant or I'm undercover like there are lots of things you can say but they will all go and they'll all create a different story um, and then you would go into the story um, as quickly as possible you want to lose yourself in it but that's another story there's a video on that called fooling <laughs> um, but the reason why I'm talking about it is if you're ever setting up an improvisation and you realize you've forgotten the conflict you've forgotten the um uh uh, 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 speculation stage then um you get into the play and you're like ah what am i what am i meant to do and you realize you've got nothing to do so it's really important and it seems like, like if you watch toddlers doing a play then they'll be like oh hello would you like a piece of cake yes i'd love a piece of cake oh here's some cake oh thank you and that's just a series of events that's not a play <clears throat> there's no drama if you want there to be drama then you need to be like oh hi would you like a piece of cake no i've heard your cakes are poisonous or i'm allergic to gluten or um i hmm i was wondering whether you thought about going on a diet or whatever like you need you need that so that um there's a play and we need in life conflict so that we've got that going on but what we don't need to do is be gratuitously rude and yeah I did come away I think the thing that was also a bit like uh, upsetting after being out in my Christmas jumper for the night was uh, some of the people that got upset I didn't realize were Tories and actually that was more upsetting than the people who I thought were really obviously Tories because I knew who I was going to upset but then when I upset other people that I was like oh no and then I thought do you know what I'd rather not know <laughs> they not know so because it's not like we're even voting for them here so there's literally no reason to know um and i don't want to like be insulting to the people that um that i do know and that's what i love about living here is everyone's uh in the mix together and it's such a really like breath of fresh air coming from brighton where i love and i do also now think that brighton's extremely important um almost like oh god i mean it's a treasure but i mean it's a cultural treasure that people should consider and appreciate because it's the only place in the uk other than bristol but not completely bristol because bristol's still got a city edge there's other things going on in bristol brighton as a complete city is somewhere where you can be whoever you want to be including gay and trans and absolutely batty you know like one of my friends goes around on rollerblades wearing a top hat with a microchip stuck to his forehead um and that's in a like top hat and tails and shorts lederhosen and shorts all year round and that's perfectly fine in brighton perfectly normal behavior and there is very few places in the world that are like that um, it's definitely the only place in the UK and the more uh, authoritarian the world gets which is why I also do still stand by my jumper because it's not just like old school idea of Tory you know yeah cool I'm not even saying I'm pro labour because I'm, I'm not uh, I think they're fucking awful as well um, but seriously fuck them right like we're being fucked over at levels that have never been known before right now you know uh the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer and if you're not feeling the cracks by now then uh you must be really rich because <laughs> if you're not really really rich then you'll definitely be feeling the pinch and there's no reason for it there's fucking tons of money and there's tons of people making tons of money and energy bills are not up because of the war in the Ukraine or anything because their profit margins are still fucking huge so it's all bollocks um, they're just getting away with it and they're getting away with it because the government is um, you know made up of people who work for that industry um, you know they talk about jobbing politicians as if it's a bad thing well, a jobbing politician means someone like my brother who wanted to be a politician went to university and studied politics 
and worked his way up through doing politics. Um, that is who I want as a politician. I want someone who cares about politics. He knows what about it. Because what we have now are people who worked in the energy industry and the oil industry and tobacco industry and whatever other lobby groups we want to deal with. And are now like they're like, oh, if we go and be in the government, we'll get what we want. That's the best way to lobby. And that's what they did. And then through the press, which they also own, they then go, oh, you know, these jobbing politicians, they were awful. That's not what you want. You want someone who's been out in the world. No, because that means you've got vested interests. Uh, anyway, so I can't believe I've ended up in politics. This is hilarious. Uh, anyway, I realised that I didn't feel comfortable wearing my jumper here. And it doesn't happen often that I decide I don't want to do a thing. So, yeah, that's my story for today. Just went for a lovely swim. The sun is shining. Life is great. And I uh, hope you're well. Big smiles. Happy Christmas. It's nearly the solstice. Oh, oh, nice. 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 Some I think it's, uh... I've got a gold post box. So, are you still looking at this? Uh, yeah? Um, let me see. <laughs> You're doing it, though. The one place that I've ever known to use this much cellar tape, and that's Manor Farm. <laughs> more cellar tape, please. Love, 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 no. <laughs> Ivy? Ivy? And rosemary? Ah, oh, there's other things, there's additionals. Thank you for the rosemary. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, you can go for some cooking. You can't cook with ivy. Oh, that's nice. It's like glitter. <coughs>
That's amazing. <laughs> Yay. Ah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, no credit of it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm videoing it. <laughs>